the thing that eats at me the most is, well, coming from my background, just being, um, coming from a Christian background, which I'm not a Christian at all. I actually, I'm, um, the antichrist. No, no, <laughs> no. I think, um, the Christian religion, the Catholic religion, um, all the Protestants and the Jewish religions that I know very well, I can say this because I, I know that those religions in particular, they're a festering scab on the face of society that need to be lifted. You and know okay, that you haven't how? said you haven't said why yet. Yeah, though, exactly. oh, okay, Paul's okay, you. okay. You want me to tell why? So you have somebody telling you that if you just do this, if you just do this, you will eternally live this way. And each of them argue against each other. Each of them argue against each other. You have the Christians debating the Catholics. The Catholics are debating the Protestants from fucking, like, day one. You have the Jewish people who wrote the whole fucking thing to fucking begin with who are debating these people. And they're all warring against each other. They're all killing each other. They're all raping each other. And it's all in the name of God. It is a joke to me. It is an absolute joke to me. What you end up getting out of religion, what you actually end up getting out of religion, if you want an, a, a good piece of it that actually you can bring home with you, is the morality that you already have within you right now. If you right now say, oh, I would have raped, I would have murdered, I would have stole, I would have fucking killed this motherfucker if it wasn't for religion, you were already, you were already too far gone to begin with for me. Now I'm going to say this. Because there are people out there who already had these moralities set within them. Now it's a cultural thing. So now what you have is this cultural um, group of people that you get together with every, every Sunday. And, and you feel comfortable with them. And the next thing you know, this one person, because you already had the morality of, oh yeah, I'm not, oh yeah, man, I feel guilty whenever I, uh, I stole candy out of the store. Which everybody makes mistakes. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, I feel really guilty that I cheated on my girlfriend. Oh, people cheat on their girlfriend all the time. That, that's a human aspect, but you learn from it. And, and humans are imperfect beings. So basically what they're doing is they're saying, oh, you're an imperfect being. You're an imperfect being, and guess what? Because you're an imperfect being, you get to burn in hell, basically. Unless, unless, unless you follow our way. Now, if you follow our way and you vote our way, you vote our politician in, you have our morality, you have our beliefs, and you, and you get with our within our click then then you will you will go to heaven they say eternally. just they say just ask for forgiveness so you don't have to they're not saying vote i'm just sorry they say just ask for forgiveness and you'll be all right right but they try to get you so too. it's so much more than that it's so much more than that within this this group of people the this re, like whenever you say religious it's weird like in america whenever you say religious people think christian but if you were to say a cult anywhere else they'd probably think Christian or like whenever you say cult in America or, you know, they, they think, oh, Islamic, oh, that's a cult or, you know, this. You look at the biggest brainwashed group of people I have ever seen in my life. And don't get me wrong. I, I, I agree with a lot of morality that comes within Christianity. I, I almost hate quoting it. Because it's such a corrupt group of people. <laughs> I, I, I love the fact that they have, oh, like they preach, they, they preach, oh, treat everyone else as you would want to be treated. Go and interact with a Christian. I doubt you get that fucking amount of respect. I fucking doubt it. You get just as much respect from an atheist as anybody else. It comes down to the individual, first of all. It has nothing to do with the religion that they claim, 100%. But whenever you ask about like, Horrible things that happen to people who don't deserve it because there's been plenty of that that's happened throughout time, right? How can you say how can there be a God whenever this happens? I, I can I, I cannot tell you that there is a God that's overseeing what's happening What what I can tell you is that human beings are resilient Human beings are resilient. I'm resilient. You're resilient. You're resilient. Johnny's resilient. We can find our struggle and not just wallow in our suffering but within ourselves, stand up a little bit and use that as energy to make ourselves better in the end and propel ourselves forward. And that's not a God-given thing. 
That's something only you have. That's not something religion's going to tell you. Religion tells you, oh, pray to God. Pray, oh, thank God for your suffering. No, no. You can take your suffering. It's up to you. It's not up to God. It's up to you. You, you, Paul and Johnny and me. Any suffering that we get, we can either decide, oh, I'm going to make it make me become worse for this, or I can become a better person from this. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit the bell notification to all our junkies out there. Stay fly and ring the bell.